In Europe, there are several international contracts regarding the protection of human rights. Two important ones among them are the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights and the European Convention on Human Rights, short ECHR. Many people wonder what the differences between those contracts are. There are several. The first one regards the applicability. The EU Charter of Fundamental Rights is, as the name already implies, a contract of the European Union. Consequently, it is binding on EU member states only. States which do not belong to the EU don't have to abide by it. In contrast to that, the European Convention on Human Rights is a treaty of the Council of Europe. The Council of Europe is an international organization based in Strasbourg. It has 47 member states. Among them are, in addition to all EU member states, also non-EU member states such as Armenia, Azerbaijan, Ukraine, Russia or Turkey. The European Convention on Human Rights is binding on all member states of the Council of Europe. The second difference regards the rights which are guaranteed by the respective treaties. All rights which are guaranteed by the European Convention on Human Rights are also enshrined in the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights. However, the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights also guarantees additional rights which are not guaranteed by the European Convention. Examples for such rights are the right to asylum or the right to good governance. The third difference regards the scope. The EU Charter of Fundamental Rights expressly states that it only applies when states are implementing EU law. That means states are only bound by it if and to the extent they are operating in an area which is governed by EU law. In contrast to that, the European Convention on Human Rights is binding no matter what they do. All actions and omissions of a state within its jurisdiction have to comply with the European Convention on Human Rights. The fourth difference is enforcement. For the European Convention on Human Rights, there is a specific court mandated to ensure that states comply with the obligations deriving from the ECHR, the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. Individuals who deem that one of their rights under the Convention has been violated can apply directly to that court if certain conditions of admissibility are satisfied. For the European Charter of Human Rights, there is no comparable international court. There is no possibility for citizens of the EU to apply directly to an international court if they think that the rights under the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights have been violated. Despite all these differences, there are also linkages between the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights and the European Convention on Human Rights. The preamble of the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights expressly refers to the European Convention on Human Rights and to the jurisprudence of the European Court of Human Rights. It states that the Charter reaffirms the rights resulting from the European Convention on Human Rights. In addition to that, the Charter also states that it must not be interpreted as limiting rights which are guaranteed by the European Convention on Human Rights. Thus, the European Convention on Human Rights remains a minimum standard. The Charter may serve to guarantee more rights, rights which go beyond that, but it must not be interpreted as limiting rights guaranteed by the Convention. Thus, there are differences as well as linkages between the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights and the European Convention on Human Rights.